Stop looking like a scammer and gain the trust of your customers by branding your Etsy shop. In today's video, I'm going to walk you step by step to creating your about section, your policies, your frequently asked questions, your Etsy logo, and your banner. So let's get right into it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. I'm an Etsy print on demand seller on a mission to help other Etsy sellers start and skill their business in a stupid easy way. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you can be notified of the next time I release a new video. So guys, let's get right into Etsy. Okay, so we're gonna start our branding part in Canva. So if you don't have Canva, um, I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video, but just head on to canva.com and we are going to search for a logo. And I usually just like pick one, feel free to scroll, but if you start scrolling, you can sit here for hours. And the point is to be able to do this quickly because guys, the, eventually, if you want to rebrand or change something, you can always do it. But for now, we just want to put something in our AC shop so we don't look like scammers. We actually look professional. So just pick one, okay, customize this template. And then here you can always search, like if you're looking for something specific, like maybe um, like minimal, like minimalistic or like boho, something like that. You can always um, go here and look for even more options. But um, I'm just going to keep this one and I'm just going to put super easy. Uh, and that POD. Um, also, feel free if you want to, for some reason, you pick a template and you don't like the fonts, you can always go over here and choose from whatever fonts you would like. And then you can also change the colors. If you have like um, specific colors that you want to brand with, if you get Canva Pro, which is you're going to need Canva Pro anyway because you're going to um, need transparent, transparent backgrounds for POD. So you can add your branding here, which is like, I mean, pretty much like the colors. So every time you want to use those colors, you can just go right here and just click on them. It's not a thing. But anyway, for now, let's keep doing this. I'm just going to keep this colors super easy. I don't know, POD. It's fine. Just put, you can name it whatever you want to appear and then to download it i'm just going to hit here download uh png and then and that is going to be the logo and then let's go back over here and for a banner you can always um you can search things here or you can always go into Etsy. And you can go right here into um, this pencil, hit that pencil. And it takes you to like your, like your shop. And then right here to add the banner, you're gonna go over here. And if we hit this, it will tell us like, what type of banner do you want? The big banner, a mini, a mini banner. So we're gonna create a, a big banner. So right here is saying that the minimum image size is 1200 by 300 pixels. So then we can add that into um, Canva over here. So customize size of 1200 by 300 pixels, create new design. And then again, you can search, you can, sorry, you can search from the templates here. You can do the same thing, like minimal, boho, whatever is it that you're looking for. Um, you can just, you know, what do we do here? Okay. Uh, let's do something like this. And... I'm just deleting this part and then I can just put here like um, stupid, oop, stupid, easy, 
pod and then here you can always put like the um website like etsy.com um shop slash the name of your shop you can always put like you know if you offer something specifically like a coupon or like or like enjoy enjoy free shipping something like that and then you just go here to share download um png and then if you want to keep obviously the same colors you can like i say always make sure you click on this color um make sure you can grab it like whatever it is or i like to just copy it and then put it over here and then if i want to same thing with the font i can just add that over here Oops. super easy pod uh -huh. enjoy let's just get rid of that I'll put like enjoy free shipping uh, I can make that smaller if you want to create the banners where you can put like mock-ups you can also put like um let me see you can do something like this like I put Etsy on top of here and then here you can just let let's say I want to grab this one out as a new page so then here you would just drop like your um, mock-ups here so whatever you uploaded that you sell you would just go ahead and like for example let's just say um, I'm a, let's just say I, I sell this shirt so you can just grab this and you just like drop it oh, why are you okay hold on okay so oh, that's not working okay so let's see so you would just you get rid of the image and then you would just drop your item here there, there, here, here, and that's how you would do it if you want it to have like a banner with like mock-ups on them. But we are just keeping it simple and just doing this one and you just hit download and then we will go into our um, Etsy shop and then again same thing if you want to um, to start editing your shop you just click on this pencil part right here and it takes you to it first thing we're gonna add is the banner we're gonna we create a big one so we'll hit big banner and then we're gonna add the image right here We'll hit save. Then here we'll put the, um, this is what the logo or the little icon will go. There we go. And then save. Okay, it looks good. Here um, you can add, some people like to add like a little logo but I like to add like a picture of myself because I feel like it just looks, I don't know, it looks more professional and it allows people for, for them to actually see who the person is like behind the shop. But you can go with either way. I just feel like when you go into like an Etsy shop and you can see like the actual human, it just gives like a little bit more of like a trusting um, thing. So I just like to add a picture here. But you can just, you know, put a logo if you like. Then this is like the top part of your um, Etsy shop, like the little like announcements here. You can just I usually just like to put like 
Hi, welcome to, you know, stupid, easy, POD. So happy you're here or something like that. Happy you're here. Forget my misspelling right now. And then I like to put like, for example, like the, your processing time, like our processing time right now is um, whatever your process, like your processing time, you, depending on which um, print provider you use, it varies, but they usually, it's like one to four business days, but I like to give myself a little bit more time because in case they take a little bit longer, I have the little of a, a little bit of a buffer. Plus, people also love, and I see it a lot in my reviews, when they are like, oh, my God, the item showed up even sooner than Etsy said. So I usually put like one to seven business days and shipping additionally, an additional, what it, shipping take additional three to five days. And if you're not sure of this, you can always go into your print provider and they'll tell you this exactly. So I usually like to put this, this is also a good place to put like for holidays that are coming up, if there are certain de deadlines, like for example, like Halloween, make sure you order your items by, I don't know, October 5th or something like that. And you can put that and you can always update and then just hit save. Hmm. And then we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. You're gonna add, you can, this is the, part where you can add like videos or showcase more about you and your shop and what you're trying to do. But I usually just leave that blank. The most important thing I would say would be like your about section right here. This is kind of like where you put like a little headline, like, you know, welcome to stupid easy POD. So like you can put your shop or like something like that. And then here's where you tell a little bit about who you are. My name is such and such. I started this job because I want to, you know, show up my creativity or I love to wear things that are like trendy and I want to share it with the world, like something a little bit where people can get to know you a little bit more. So that's where you will put that here and then you will save it. And then this part is like the members, like the people that work for the shop. So again, here you put that same picture that you put at the top. You can put it here and then you put your name again and then what you do. So, you know, you're the owner and you can add several, you're the owner, you're the customer service, you're the designer, you're the this, like everything. And then you can put a little blur about yourself, love, all things, you know, creative or something, I don't know, something about yourself. And then as you begin to grow, this is also where you can add like other uh, shop members like maybe somebody that helps you with like customer service or designing or something like that then this is where your frequently asked questions go this is the part to add like for example here I like to add like the type of printing that we do so like DTG printing and what it looks like or like my returns and policies or do I take any cancellations um, Things like that, I like to add here. Processing, again, so then you can just do like for a question, you just put custom, and then you can put what type, that's it, what type of printing do we, do you, do we use, we use. And then it says we do DTG printing, which is direct, which is direct to Garmin, and then blah, 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 and then you just put, and then you save it. And then you keep adding more things like custom, what's our, you know, return policy or something, policy. And then you can put, we, unfortunately, like whether you do it or not and what it is. So that's how that works right here, the frequently asked questions. And then this is also a good place as you begin to have sales and customers keep asking you the same type of questions, you can also add that here. Um, this is if you're selling the U, you only sell in the United States. Then here we're gonna go to the policies section. Here's where you're gonna select. I don't do any returns and exchanges, so I just use, so that will be up to you to decide what your you know, what you would like to do. So, um, 
the way I do this is let's see, oh, I create. Oh. So you're gonna create the policy, sorry, and then if you're gonna do returns, then you leave it like this. I'll just keep it like this. It changes the same way. Keep it, leave it, and then you just save the policy. Cancellations. Are you gonna are you gonna accept cancellations or not? Then you're gonna create the policy. If you're gonna accept, if you're gonna accept cancellations, then you do it. And then here you will select like within what length of a time. But I don't do that, so I just hit publish. And then I'm going to um, privacy. I just kind of leave this as it is. And then, uh, and then this will be it. So then to go and look at your like Etsy shop, you can just go back here. And then now you have the banner, the logo, of course you have like picture here. This is where your announcements show up that we created. And then here again, the little um, about area with the shop members. Your policies will show up here. Um, and of course your frequently asked questions will be right here. So guys, this is really the whole bulk of like the branding part, creating your logo, your banner, um, and setting up your Etsy shop. So you actually look professional. You can do this. You see it only took, but uh, no, more, no more than like 20 minutes. So this is it for this video. You made it to the end of this video and I would like for you to watch this video next because in that video I'm going to walk you step by step into creating a full listing tutorial. See you guys in the next one.